An internet bot is a software application that runs automated tasks over the internet without human intervention. Bots work automatically going through a set of instructions and they carry out tasks and processes much faster. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. The malware bots create problems and issues for organizations. The dangers for consumers include their potential for carrying out data and identity theft, key logging sensitive information such as passwords, bank details, addresses and phishing. Malaysia's bots can easily go unnoticed. When the bots are not cleaned, then it will create a net that is called botnet. Botnets are a network of infected computers or bots under the control of a single party known as a botnet master. Hackers infect computers with malware that allows them to remotely operate infected devices as bots. Recently, Cyber Swachhata Kendra has taken the initiative to make a bot-free internet experience for Indian users. Free security tools are provided by CERT and METI. The Cyber Swachhata Kendra has started sending messages to Indian citizens to keep their smart devices bot or virus free. This is a profound step taken to bring awareness among digital users about cyber security and data theft. These steps are taken by the government of India to ensure that you have a secure internet experience. A bot can only replicate a user's behavior in a set of parameters, hence it performs repetitively. The Cyber Swachhata Kendra provides a free tool that will help you remove any bot from your devices. In addition, CERT has tied up with multiple antivirus companies to create free-to-use software especially to remove system-level threats like bots. CERT has also developed a security tool for Android devices as well. All you have to do is install the application and run the scanner. Then the app will clear all the unnecessary files. An amazing benefit of iPhones or Mac software is security and privacy. Mac operating system and iOS don't necessarily require a third-party application for security and virus removal. These operating systems are self-sufficient in cleaning out files that are harming the system. So, you don't need to install any additional security application or remove the bot. The step taken by the Cyber Swachhata Kendra to promote digital cyber security in India is commendable. The free tool is easy to install and use. Perhaps this simple tool will help millions of citizens who don't have the access to premium online security software. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Finance Ministry to levy 30% tax on winning from online games. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in the Finance Bill 2023 has proposed new rules under the Income Tax Act to define online gaming and levy a tax of 30% on net winnings from online games. The proposal was made in Section 115 BBJ, which was added to the Finance Bill and will come into effect from 1st April 2024. Intel cuts down CEO's pay by 25% amidst company-wide reduction. As per Intel, its chief executive officer, Pat Jelsinger, is taking a 25% cut to his base salary. His executive leadership team will see their pay packets decreased by 15%. Senior managers will take a 10% reduction and the compensation for mid-level managers will be cut by 5%. The move comes after the company predicted one of the worst quarters in its more than 50-year history. OpenText to lay off 8% of workforce after MicroFocus deal. OpenText has acquired MicroFocus in a massive $5.8 billion deal creating a workforce of approximately 25,000 professionals. However, OpenText said in a statement that the company expects to balance the combined company through an approximately 8% workforce reduction due to the acquisition of MicroFocus. These employee layoffs will amount to cost synergies of $400 million. Microsoft stops selling Windows 10 10 years after the release of Windows 10 in July 2015, Microsoft has confirmed in an update to its store list that 31st January was the last day to purchase Windows 10 product keys. This means Microsoft Store will only offer Windows 11 product keys and buyers won't be able to purchase Windows 10 anymore. Windows 10 will remain supported with security updates that help protect your PC from viruses, spyware and other malware until October 14th of 2025. Nearly Rs 1,900 crores granted for buying EVMs before 2024 Lok Sabha polls. 
the union law ministry has been allocated nearly rupees 1900 crores in the union budget to buy electronic voting machines ahead of the 2024 lok sabha polls rupees 1891.78 crores has been allocated to the election commission for procurement of ballot units control units and voter verifiable paper audit trial units that is paper trial machines and ancillary expenditure on evms and destruction of obsolete evms That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.